वेलकम टू अन अदर वीडियो इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू राइट पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू रिवर्स अ नंबर सो गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू सी टू वेज इन ऑर्डर टू रिवर्स अ नंबर एज यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट वे इज बाई यूजिंग दी वाइल्ड लू सो ओवर हियर वी विल बी यूजिंग दी लॉजिक इन ऑर्डर टू रिवर्स दी नंबर बाई यूजिंग दी रिमाइंडर एंड दी डिवाइड ऑपरेटर एंड द सेकेंड वे इज बाई यूजिंग दी स्ट्रिंग स्लाइसिंग विच वी कैन ईजिली यूज इन ऑर्डर टू रिवर्स द नंबर सो गाइज लेट अस चेक बोथ दीज मेथड्स इन दी वी एस कोड ओवर हियर सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी विल बी डूइंग इज वी विल डिफाइन दी नंबर इट इज इक्वल टू लेट से वी हैव द नंबर दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी थ्री ओवर हियर एंड वी वॉन्ट द रिवर्स ऑफ दिस नंबर विच विल बी थ्री ट्वेंटी वन सो वॉट वी विल बी डूइंग इज वी विल डिफाइन अनादर वेरिएबल दैट इज रिवर्स नंबर ओवर हियर एंड इनिशियली वी विल इनिशियलाइज इट एज जीरो आफ्टर दिस वी विल यूज दी वाइल लूप ओवर हियर सो वाइल वी नीड टू चेक वेदर दिस नंबर इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी विल से नम इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इन दिस केस सो ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट इटरेशन द नम इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सिंस इट इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी थ्री ओवर हियर तो नेक्स्ट वॉट वी विल बी डूइंग इज वी नीड टू गेट दी लास्ट डिजिट फ्रॉम दिस नंबर विच वी कैन गेट बाई यूजिंग दी रिमाइंडर ऑपरेटर सो ओवर हियर वी विल से डिजिट इट इज इक्वल टू वी विल यूज दिस नम वेरिएबल ओवर हियर परसेंट टेन सो बेसिकली वेन वी से नम परसेंट टेन वी विल गेट दी लास्ट डिजिट from this 123 number which will be equal to 3 over here now this number that is 3 it will be stored in the digit variable so we can use this digit variable in order to set the reversed number so this time reversed number it is equal to we will say reversed number once again multiplied by 10 and then we will say plus this digit over here now guys what is this logic why we have included reversed number multiplied by 10 so basically in the first iteration the reversed number is 0 right now so 0 multiplied by 10 it will be equal to 0 and then plus digit will give us 3 over here so reversed number will be 3 this time next time what will happen is the digit number should store the second number from behind that is number 2 over here so this reverse number currently will Will be three, which will make it three multiplied by ten. It is equal to thirty. Plus, we should get this digit that is two. So we will get thirty-two over here. And then, guys, in the third iteration, similarly, our reverse number would be thirty-two. And then we will get the digit as one, and it will be thirty-two multiplied by ten. That is three twenty. Plus one, which will give us three twenty one over here, and this is the logic that will help us in order to get the reverse number over here. Now, guys, the last step is to reduce the num variable. So we will say num. It is equal to. Now we need to divide it by ten. So we say divide operator. and then we use the number that is 10 so guys basically we are only getting the number that is 1 and 2 over here that's because the last digit has been already assigned to the reversed number over here we will see the explanation of all these three lines of code once again in a notepad file so let's say over here we have the number as 1 2 3 so we say 1 2 3 now guys what's happening over here is num percent 10 is giving us this last digit that is 3 so we are storing it into digit over here that is 3 and then reversed number it is equal to 0 right now so 0 multiplied by 10 it is equal to 0 plus digit so we are getting reverse number as 3 in this case so reverse number is 3 now after first iteration and num percent 10 will give us 12 in this case so we say num it is equal to 12 right now in the second iteration once again num person 10 will give us the last digit that is 2 so inside the digit variable we will have the number 2 now what do we have in the reverse number currently we have 3 so 3 multiplied by 10 will give us 30 plus digit which is having 2 so it will be 32 right now so we will say 32 in the reverse number and the last step that is num divided by 10 will give us 12 divided by 10 which will be equal to 1 this time and then guys again num percent 10 for this one it will give us 1 over here so digit will be 1 this time and reverse number is already 32 32 multiplied by 10 will give us 320 plus digit which is equal to 1 will give us 321 over here so reverse number will be 321 and num divided by 10 this time since num value is 1 1 divided by 10 will be 0 so num will become 0 right now and when the num is equal to 0 the control flow will come out of the while loop over here so basically after the while loop we simply have to print the statement that is reverse the number so we say reverse number over here followed by colon and then we simply have to use the reversed number variable over here so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code 
So as you can see, we have got the reverse number as 3, 2, 1 over here. Guys, we can have any other number instead of 123. So we will say 145, 6, 7, 8. So let me just save this file now and try running this code once again. So as you can see, we have got 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 and then 1, which is the reverse of this number that we have just provided. So guys, this is one way in order to reverse the number by using the while loop over here. Now, what is the second way? We can also use the string slicing in this case. So how string slicing will work? We will remove these lines of code over here. Once again, I will set the number as 123 this time. Now guys, we can simply have the print function directly in order to get the reverse of the number by using the string slicing over here so inside the print statement we will simply say reverse number and then colon and then guys what we have to do is this number needs to be converted to the string first so we will be using the str class over here as you can see it creates a new string object from the given object so inside the parenthesis we will be providing the num variable so basically we are converting it into a string so one two three has become a string now and then we can use the open and close square brackets over here and inside the open and close parenthesis we can provide start stop and then step so guys the start and stop need not be provided over here we can simply provide two colons and then in the end we can provide minus one over here which represents a step in this case so basically this simple line of code will help us in order to get the reverse of this number that we have provided in the form of string data type and it will be printed on the terminal so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see reversed number it is 321 over here so guys instead of using any logic by using the while loop you can simply use this string slicing method in order to reverse the number or the string as well now if we provide any other number let's say we provide 5 4 3 2 1 so it should provide us 1 2 3 4 5 as the output which is the reverse of this number let me just run this code once again so as you can see we have got reverse number it is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 guys what will be the answer when we provide 987 as the number over here comment in the comment section below what will be the reverse of this number let us see whether your answer is correct or not so please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs and you are able to comment the right answer below make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to compute the power of a number so stay tuned